Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome back to another analytics tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Analytics for your website. So if you've started a new blog or a new website or a new app and you want to integrate Google Analytics into it, um, it's a very quick five minute process and I'll just show you how to go about it. So you will begin by creating an analytics account and uh, while you're creating an account, there's this small form that you'll have to fill. So let's get started with the form. You'll have to select whether you're tracking a website or a mobile app. Give your account a name, your website a name and add the URL to your website. Once you're done with that, you can select an industry category and select the time zone for which you're tracking. Now there are multiple data sharing options. Uh, this basically determines how this data is shared with Google. So please go over them. Like for example, when you check on technical support, you're letting Google's technical support team have access to your analytics data so that in case you ever need any help with them, they'll be able to go through your data. Now you can create a maximum of 100 accounts. Like you can see, I already have eight accounts created. And once you're done filling this form, all you have to do is select get tracking ID. And once you do that, you're going to enter a screen like this. Obviously the data is go not going to be filled. It's going to be zero data for you since the account is new. And what you have to do is you have to go into the admin section and for your account, Google would have already created a property and a default view. What you have to do is go on tracking info, tracking code, and this is the tracking code to your website. So you just have to copy this and paste it on all pages of your website that you want to track. If you are working with WordPress for your blog, a very quick, easy way is to just go into the header file and paste it there because that automatically gets added to all the other pages of your website. So in the beginning, you will probably see something like not connected or something of that sort under the status. But once you add this code to your website, um, you will see that you have started receiving traffic. One very easy way to figure out whether you're receiving traffic or not is just log on to your website and go under the real time tab, click on overview, and you will see if there are people on your site right now. And if they are, then you have successfully installed Google Analytics into your website. So that's just stage one of using Google Analytics where you have integrated it with your website. And now in the coming videos, we're going to go over each of these tabs and how do you actually use this data in an effective way for your business, for your blog. Thank you and have a great day.